Oh, geothermal energy. I love you. Yeah, look at all those frames we're making. They're just coming. Fly, fly, fly! Woohoo! Well, hello gamers again. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna make a heavy modular frame factory. I've already got a building facade going here for it. Also been doing some work in the frontier, which you can't see because I'm in the fog, but right here I've got four train stations and a new radar tower. I'm just harvesting all these resources for the modular frames, which I think I should have enough room in here for all the machinery. So I'm planning on having trains carry the raw resources in. I'm just kind of returning to this game now after a uh, well, we had a pretty severe storm and a power outage for about, you know, good solid half a week or more. I think God himself decided that Florida men were too powerful and tried to smite us because we had like three storms in a row. So yeah, someone pissed off Zeus, but we're back. I got my computer powered up. We're totally fine. And here's my four train stations. Out here in the wide open frontier, there's so many resources for me to gather here. Did you guys know that I used to have a world record run, world record speed run in a really obscure like fighting game that I used to play a lot when I was a kid? I say used to because uh, uh, two people have actually beat my record since then. But I'm thinking about getting back in the gauntlet and uh, last time I did that I did post it on YouTube but it was on an old account so I'm thinking um, thinking about maybe trying it out and maybe filming it and doing a video for this channel since that's my new thing I got going on dude I just got a new mattress gamers man sheesh that shit's like sleeping on an angels tits it's so nice soft comfy brand new I've been sleeping on this old one for fucking like I don't know at least 10 years I also uh, may be recording some Elden Ring I don't know if I've ever said this, but I'm a big fan of the Souls games, especially Dark Souls 1. Uh, fan of Elden Ring, I've only played through it once. I've recorded some really, really shitty gameplay. I don't know if it's ever going to end up on the channel, but we'll, we'll see. Gotta get ready for the DLC, you see. Uh, that's coming out, in, uh, coming out in about a month, I think. So yeah, let me know if you want to see me play any other kind of games. I know I dabbled briefly in the Minecraft. I might, I still may, you know, end up finishing that. Okay, so I got a bunch of iron so far. So let's see if this functions with trains. That's the thing about trains, like, I, I never really use them that much. They kind of confuse me with how the throughput works. Like, you have to account for the time it takes for the train route. How many trains you have, how many cars you have, how much you're inputting through how many belts, whether you have buffers, um, it's a lot. In order to preserve my sanity and because I'm lazy, I think I'm just going to test it out and see how it works. Uh, we're just going to explore a little bit. So I've heard that train throughput ideally is about less than two full belts at Mark V, so I'm going to just do one Mark belt. Uh, per cargo uh, Per freight car rather Okay, now I got a train here, and I'm gonna set it to go between these two train stations one of them in that big building I built over there and one of them here and We're gonna test out see how good this train actually does work In a moment now the train shall be arriving turning around the corner around that mountain She will be coming as they say I can't tell if there's... Oh wait, is the train stuck there? I think that's what's happening. Yeah, I left this dude hogging the block. Get out of here. Now you're free to go, sir. I apologize for that disturbance. Oh, oh my dick's falling off. Hello again, gamers and gamets. Or should I say... Gamers and Gamet. I'm back again with more Satisfactory, of course. Uh, it's been a hot minute, but I've got a couple new factories as well as some general amazing progress to show you. Actually, 
you could see it from here in the distance way over there that my friends in the distance is brand spanking new look at the stars by the way this is some like fucking n64 ocarina of time ass shit why is it moving so fast i never realized the skybox was actually rotating that fast but yeah, I've been hard at work. I think I've officially passed the training arc of the manga and now I've reached my full capabilities. And uh, pretty soon here we're going to be wrapping things up, I believe. So what have we got to show you today? I've got a heavy modular frame factory, of course. That's the big tower earlier. I'm still decorating that and that's why I need these color cartridges. One thing I wanted to show you guys right off rip is that uh, I'm producing a lot of points these days uh, so all my factories are built with overflows and they are basically all full now because I've just been playing the game building other factories uh, now I've got 45 coupons ready for me in addition to uh, 224 in here so 269 nice I also have uh, five hard drives but as it turns out I already have all the alternate recipes in the in entire game because uh, I tried to scan my last hard drive uh, and it said no nah, too too bad buddy you're out of luck you've already used them all now as you can see I've been building factory shells this one right here is still not in use though it will be soon I have been expanding the railways quite significantly got this central rail here here in addition to that rail and uh, there's a spiral over there actually let me zoom in a little bit look at that so here's what the my, my map currently looks like and you can see I've been expanding the railways down south and I got a new radar tower down here been exploring this crater area I've got crater stations going I was planning a big factory here can get to that at some point in the next video perhaps I think it's about time we go green man like, we've been using up all the oil in the world. We're not going to have any enough. We got all this energy, man, just coming out of the earth. Look at this. We could use it. It's free, man. And that's why I got geothermal generators. One, uh, two boys. I realized I unlocked these guys a little while ago and never actually used them. So the interesting thing about geothermal generators is that their power output is not stable. Uh, although it is not that bad, all things considered. Yep, so all I do is hook these bad boys up to the power grid and we're making slightly more power. Uh, I don't know why it has a red light. And the greatest part is it's totally quiet and eco-friendly. It doesn't disturb the wildlife. Oh, geothermal energy. I love you. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just going to hurry up and go ahead and get to the brand new HMF factory. That stands for, hey, my friend. So in order to get over there, I usually just take one quick flight. So, yeah. How's yours day? How's yours day going? Aha, uh -huh, yes. And the coolest feature, perhaps, of this new factory uh, fully integrated with trains because that's right we make frames good and it's a pretty tall building ain't it yeah well me and my family we've been making heavy frames for years started with my father his father before him don't mind that these are floating platforms that need a lot of polish work but yeah guys right over here this is where it all begins oh and yes there goes the trains now. This one, I believe, is yeah, carrying the limestone and iron rods. The other one carries raw iron and coal. Thousands of it per minute, you see. As you can see, I'm harvesting from quite a lot of different miners. They're going to the underlayer there, sucked up there. It's kind of uggo, but you know, we're so far away from the, the main construction base that uh, I can excuse a slight uggoness. And that's not to say that there won't be some sprucing up later. So yeah, as I said before, I never really used trains uh, like integrated with my factories before. I always use them just kind of to get around. So this was a whole, whole ass learning experience for me. That was fun though. Yep, there goes the first train. That one carries all the raw iron 
coal and stuff. So I'm currently in the process of making this look nice on the inside. But here's the first floor where I just have all my train stations. And uh, there's a large central staircase that leads all the way down and all the way up. I realize that it's probably going to be a little confusing uh, on account of how all the floors look rather similar. But I'll just give you a little overview of how all this works. So yeah, raw resources here. This is all the iron, limestone, coal being shipped from the train which station which is above us. And uh, you can see on this floor it's also sharing space with some constructors here. These are making steel pipes which are being sent up upstairs because we do uh, further processing on the higher floors. By the way guys, this is the alternate recipe that I'm using. Um, I think it's called heavy encased frames. And it's really good if you have the alternate recipe for using pipes to make the encased beams. Because then you only use pipes. And then this is basically pipes and concrete. And this is concrete. So pipes, concrete, pipes, concrete, and modular frame. That's all that this takes. And down here at the very bottom, you can see I actually just built this tower coming out of the water actually. The bottom floor here is where I'm doing my concrete. You can see it's actually backed up. I guess um, I'll check on the manufacturers up top when we get there and see what's going on with production. But I assume that we're low on heavy or uh, low on modular frames because that's usually the bottleneck. But yeah, guys, I am doing the uh, wet concrete alternate, which again, this is something that I just I used to think was totally useless. But I'm making 80 concrete per minute. Uh, I mean, it only takes a few refineries to get up to making a lot of concrete per minute, you know, if you're using 80. And of course, since I built it on the bottom floor, there's the water right here for me to harvest. And uh, I actually kind of want to do something with this. Oh, I see, it actually doesn't go that deep. Oh, what the hell? Ah yes, I've gained the ability of flight. We love casting spells. Next floor is actually still empty because I wanted to make sure I had enough room when I was building this whole thing. You can see that I just have conveyors going through it. And of course on the next floor you can see actually I was currently working on this. Making all of this a factory zone makes it look a lot neater. And then putting fences around it is what I usually do. Yeah man, I didn't know I already probably mentioned it but that storm was crazy man. Smacked our town harder than my mom used to smack me as a kid. Yeah, as you can see on this floor, which I believe is B5, yeah, floor B4, never mind, B5 is empty. Yeah, floor B5 is quite a lot going on here, uh, just like Diddy Kong is getting a little ape. But don't let it intimidate you, it's literally just a bunch of iron smelteries, and uh, these are making iron plates. So as you can see, uh, it seemed like confusing logistics, logistically, but I basically just built it. Uh, from the bottom up. I got the resources, shipped them all the way to the bottom, and then started shipping the products back up to the top. And then uh, once I had the completed products in the manufacturers, there's a floor with manufacturers up there. I believe it's like floor two or three. So yeah, the next one, guys, uh, I haven't done any prettying up of this yet, but these are steel foundries, and these are making iron wires. That's a cool little alternate. It makes it at a weird rate, 12.5 per minute iron used for 22.5 per minute wire. Um, but as it turns out, this amount of constructors is just fine. I basically, I didn't run things at 100% efficiency for this factory and I did that on purpose actually so that uh, as I gain more resources through other factories in the future, I can gain more heavy modular frames as needed. But up here on the next floor, guys, I'm making those reinforced iron plates using the stitched iron plate recipe. I'm using all kinds of alternates here. And uh, I actually found out that this would be super efficient using the Satisfactory Calculator website, which uh, there's a bunch of useful planners. If you don't know, you can just look up Satisfactory Planner. And uh, I think there's like three of them that are useful. One of them you can check all the alternate recipes you have and then it will factor that into the calculations. Okay, so the next floor up here is where we started um, with the iron or uh, steel pipes. Next floor is of course train station and then 
here on the train station floor you can see a lot of the completed products being shipped up. I believe these are reinforced plates. These are steel pipes. Oh, I can't even see this shit. Oh, it's iron rods. Uh, this is concrete. So the first things first that happens on the next floor. Oh, that, that looks weird. Is that I'm making all the modular frames. I'm actually shipping the iron rods, like I said, by train. Um, I didn't really factor in c creating iron rods using the iron, but that's fine. I'm learning all about production lines and whatnot. It's getting pretty sick. Because on the next floor we have, I think this is like 27 uh, assemblers for encased industrial beams. And that is the final set that we need before the final, the final step in our assembly. And uh, I actually have room here for several more floors as you can see. So I may use this building for more than just heavy modular frames. Or as I predicted, the modular frames are the limiting factor here. I do have another factory that's producing them though, so I'm thinking I could hook that up through a train. Because I basically I have more manufacturers here than I'm actually producing with. So that way I can, like I said earlier, I can ship shit around, increase the productivity as fix-it demands, never say hello to my family again. But yeah, look at all those frames we're making. They're just coming. I think it should be about 20 per minute, which is definitely more than I've ever made in this game before. And I can tell that because I have issues keeping up with uh, the amount that I'm producing here. That way I, so just to make sure I made a lot of storage crates, there's more in the back over there. And of course there's overflow protection. One thing that I think a really tall building like this definitely needs is uh, hyper tubes to get up and down uh, especially when I build even higher floors it's just kind of annoying going up the stairs like a peasant so yeah guys I can load up a train here with a bunch of heavy frames and I'll just go ahead and take that home okay that trains gonna go the slow way I'm gonna go the pioneer way a few moments later oh no guys I'm in the moron sphere again oh shit I'm flying way past my fucking oh no 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 Oh, I'm dying from death. I'm dying from flying to- Oh my god. No shot. Okay. Use use those cannons with caution. Okay, leaving the moron sphere. Wow, look at this place is crazy. Oh, what's that? Loading jump scare. And I realize I, I built this whole factory. I mean, it's not that glamorous, but I did this like weeks ago and I didn't even show it to you guys last episode. Oh look, you could fly. Fly! Oh shit. Oh, let me try that again real quick. This is the best way to get in. There are other ways to get into the factory, but this is the intended way. Fly! 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 Woohoo! Bonk. Yeah, I just totally forgot. Yeah, last episode I just totally forgot. I'm like a freaking goldfish with amnesia. I don't know what happened. But yeah, I built this factory just sort of above, above this busy ground here. Uh, uh, and here is what the factory is actually producing for us. Uh, not this bean. Get out of here, bean. Don't come back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't come back. Don't come back. So yeah, we're making wire and cables. This is, of course, just for general construction use. But uh, maybe I'll, I'll use it for... High-speed connectors, I think, need cables. Yeah. I also should probably be making automated wiring. We need a lot of that for Phase 4. But yeah, you can take this tube up here. Wee! Whoop! And uh, now we're in the little hyper tube area. I got three options here. One of them is the one you come out of. This one uh, takes you back down rather violently. Ah! If you don't have a jetpack, you could hurt your, hurt your footsies. The other one just sort of launches you out of the factory uh, in that general direction. Which is good if you're trying to get back to the main vein station over there. But yeah guys, it's really just using the, the local copper. Uh, now that I have Mark III miners, I have a lot of excess resources essentially. Using all that. Oh, and it's very loud in here. 
down here we're doing smelteries and of course uh, constructors for wire. I believe this wire's ultimate destiny is cables. You were born for the cables. That is your purpose. You will die by the cables. Okay, yeah, and up here is where we're actually making those cables. Uh, 60 per minute of wire, so you don't need nearly as many constructors for cable as you do for wire. You probably could have done this in some more efficient way, but you know what? It is what it is. Here we go. Yeah, you can see it just lodges you up here. It's a good if you uh, if there's a train coming by right here, you just hop right on. That would be sick. The railways have now progressed to the point where I can just go for a little drive, basically cover the whole whole uh, about half of the world or maybe more, three quarters. So to wrap up this episode, which I fear may be getting a little bit long, I'm just gonna wait here in this train and take a little scenic drive. Uh, turn on the autopilot. The last time I felt connection to my mother was at least 17 years ago. Burger King foot lettuce. Can you stop honking? Dude, this state. Ah, this train that I just sent here. Ah, stop. It's stuck perpetually docking. Honking it forever. Like Sisyphus on the hill. Doomed to never be heard. Never mind, I was gonna end there, but then I just remembered uh, I had somebody ask for help with making the turbo fuel power plant, so I wanna just go over some stuff real quick. First things first, I think all of them use this fuel gen hexagon platform, which uh, in my original, in one of my first turbo plant, Okay, never mind. Sorry, my brain sucks. It wasn't a turbo plant. This was my fuel power plant, which I called the Satis plant. Uh, it, when I did this video, talking about the blueprints I used there, I believe I showed a link to uh, a video where the guy did a tutorial on how to make this hexagon. That was sort of my introduction to like, oh, you have to do uh, lots of tweaking and precise movement and even some clipping to uh to get something that looks like this but yeah it has a interior space once you delete that central block and of course a fuel gen uh when it ha well you have to place it with this interior block first uh when it's in the center here it looks great it perfectly matches the shape of the generator okay so look familiar uh, this is part of my turbo plant built from the same hexagon here with the fuel generator right on top you can see that's just the base essentially of the platform here and I've, I've made them steel walls and I've added these metal beams and here's how I did the triple window uh, I have one window placed like this one window place like this and that makes it get, kind of give the appearance that there's three windows after that guys the rest of it is just building up these walls and I have a, a gate hole here um, to sort of simulate something that would exhaust all the fumes that this generator is producing and then all I did really for the inside uh, didn't mean to do the hardy moat but that's fine all I did was hook up this power here to two lights and to the generator of course I kind of fucked up because I neglected to have the power outlet somewhere where I could easily access it so when I was hooking all these generators up I had to go to each individual one um, so if I were you doing this blueprint I would have a double outlet I keep pressing two because that's normally my power line uh, and then hook that up and then you can just daisy chain all your fuel generators essentially And it will take you way less time than it took me. Um, a weird thing about this, though, is that uh, you can't place one more wall on here. So this generator kind of sticks out. The way I solved that issue out here on the field with my turbo power plant. Uh, oh, I also had to manually color them all because I, I forgot to make the blueprint colored. So yeah, if, when you're making blueprints, definitely... Uh, Make sure you make all the changes that you're going to be needed. So yeah, you can just 
basically put one down and then every time I put one down I made another layer of walls right on top like this now you can see the fuel generator does not extend past these walls and when you build another one you can just change it to blueprint mode and look at that it should automatically clip on then all you have to do is hook up the tubes and hook up the power uh, and you're good to go like that and you can see that's how I got that so yeah this the central ring part you're gonna have to construct many times it took me quite a while yeah they asked me about how many uh, generators I'm using I think 60 overclocked generators uh, all this is of course coming from only 300 per minute crude oil uh, and you can see exactly what machines I'm using here blenders are of course producing diluted fuel which is a nice alternate and then the refineries are producing turbo fuel from fuel and compacted coal so yeah I hope that that helped you with building your own turbo plant build um, I appreciate the question, the inquiry. I still am proud of this factory. I feel like it goes pretty hard, uh, unnecessarily so, probably with all the pipe work. So yeah, that's it gamers, and uh, if you don't mind, uh, your mom actually has to admire my pipe work, um, and I'll be right back. See you next time. <laughs>